Jeff Blankman joined right now by Drew Christensen from the uh, Audubon Wheelers Boys Golf Team as they took on Missouri Valley here today. Drew, you've had a really good last uh, week or so. Uh, golfed well down at the IKM Manning uh, in tournament the other day and then at the conference tournament on Wednesday. How'd you feel coming into today? Confident. You know, I uh, these last five, six rounds have really been everything's going my way. Shots are hitting straighter and my putts, everything's just going my way and kind of getting everything consistent and back to normal, which is good. Did you start off pretty good then today with that confidence? Well, I started the hole off with it. With it. I hit two out of bounds. On I never hit two out of bounds. I never hit left on hole one. It always goes right. So that was different. Then I tr all of a sudden, I par I think I parred the next four holes, and I birdied one in there, and then I, bo then I bogey, bogey parred. Yeah, then I had a double at the end, but... A good way to recover then from kind of a rough start. What'd you finish up with on that first hole after going out of bounds twice? Nine. I got. A, I took a nine. I was usually I get upset, but I was. I just cleared it away and kept going. And you finish up with a forty-three today. Happy with that after that first hole? Yeah, I am. I at the end there, the last hole, I landed my second shot on, and I second four putted. And I I've one putted everything all day. Well, then the last I mean, hole eight, but. I don't know. I was think I was just ready to get going. I quick did a rookie mistake, and you know, I cost me a couple extra strokes. So. Were you driving the ball well today that you played mm -hmm. so well? Yeah, I was hitting a couple of my shot. My drives were probably going three, about 300 yards. It's straight. It's good. So, yeah, and I – this course, I'm really confident in my, my own course. I know where to hit the ball each time. I know what clubs to use and not to use, so. Play yeah. in the fairway all day then? Yeah, all day, yeah. How would the irons work for you? good i my second shot was pretty good i landed i usually was on and two about every single hole what were you using i mean what kind of shots for the second shots were you letting yourself well, my seven irons from like 100 and 285 yards out that's usually about where i was each time and i put it on so that's that's good and i thought i mean i was usually my second shots are my one well, my worst game today they were on you said you one putted quite a few times today. Take us yeah. through what were your, what maybe was your most impressive putt of the day. Well, I had two chip, putt, chip ins while well, they're on the fringe. I used my putter, so I was gonna be probably on hole five for a birdie. And that was I landed really. I had a really bad chip and landed on the fringe, and then it was probably a 25, 25 foot putt, and it went in. How'd it read? How'd you read it? And how'd it straight, break? It was straight as an arrow, and so I just I just hit it straight and. I put a little extra on it because I usually leave mine soft and it hit the pin, dropped straight down, and I kind of did the whole, you know, yeah, it, was just, it was pretty cool. Let's bounce back to Wednesday. Uh, how did you feel about how you golfed down at the conference tournament in Atlantic? Good for what I usually do. Uh, down there, the wind, I expect my stuff not to be quite as good because the wind affects my, I don't hit very hard, but I end up with 244s, so on the front and the back, which is a little bit above average of mine, but, you know, for the conditions, I thought they were exactly where I should have been shooting. So. Well, Drew, I tell you what, congratulations on the last week or two of golf, and uh, best of luck uh, all the way through sectionals and districts this year. All right, thank you, yeah.